So we're here at the school today to kind of give the kids an idea of what impaired driving looks like, uh, the ramifications should they make a bad choice, and we're here to show, kind of demystify it. We're going to show them what the check stop bus looks like, uh, give them some insight into what our procedures would be for screening for not only alcohol but for drug impaired drivers. So what we do is if I if I pull you over and uh, one of the officers suspects that uh, there's a drug involved in, in, in your body, so you've been, you've been consuming any type of drug, uh, what they'll do is then administer a standard field sobriety test. It's a three test battery. It takes roughly six minutes to do. It's very quick. Uh, they check your eyes. They'll check your coordination in terms of a walk and turn test. They'll also do a, a test which is a one leg stand test. And based on the uh, performance on those tests, they'll then uh, decide whether or not you're impaired. Uh, you may be released at the scene with uh, a 24 hour suspension uh, or with nothing, or you may be arrested and uh, charged for impaired driving at that point. Well, the check stop, like we saw the technology inside the check stop and it definitely impressed me because I didn't know like it was possible to check how much cannabis you have in your system from a long time ago. So like the accuracy of all the equipment is definitely something that I'm impressed by. I think that it kind of scared me a little bit in the sense that like I'd never been in there before so it suddenly felt real to me that this is a really serious thing that Canada is going through. It's not the same as alcohol or anything. This is something much bigger. The officer said that's like one of the biggest things that uh, people who are behind the wheel are the ones who usually survive the accidents. And I think living through that would be pretty tough. I remember walking in, first couple steps I was like, this is serious. I was like, this equipment is serious, everything about this is serious. So we gotta think, okay, this this topic of legalizing cannabis and like getting behind the wheel, this is serious too. So we gotta we gotta reflect on all that. 